people, it's the Beers Gone Mall, though. Hold on, I can't jump my Ah, you're good, dude. What up, people? It's the Beers Gone Bad. It's where the beer flows like wine. We are your hosts tonight. I'm Pat Tugin. He's Scott Van Butt. Tonight, we're doing a weird one from Turkey. Scott's mom brought this back from all the way across the world in the Mediterranean somewhere. Turkey. It's called Skull. Boom! Skull is also a brand of tobacco. Chewing tobacco, right? Yeah, like dip. I don't know if the two are related, but I know that they both come in plastic containers. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm squeezing the bottle right now. Yeah. It came in a freaking plastic bottle. Take it easy, Pat. Now, <laughs> all beers are designed to come into... Oh, I guess sorry. All beers are designed to come in, or be drank out of uh, certain glassware. Um, you have a snifter, you have a... Uh, Free more robust yeah. beers. And uh, what, a tumbler. Uh, Tumblers for uh, IPAs and other uh, uh, pale glasses. Now, a beer that comes in a plastic bottle probably, presumably, should be drinking oh. out of plastic cups. It smells like a skunk. Now, oh my lord. Um, it is a 4.25 4, liter. comma. That's a comma. Oh, it is. 4.25 4, <laughs> TLs. TLs. Not Which is turbo liters. Turbo. <laughs> Skull has turbo liters. It's, and it says it's actually one liter. Tonight I'm drinking out of the Chargers Strike Ready Cup, and Scott's drinking out of my measuring cup. <laughs> worth noting, Pat's cup is from 2007. And worth noting, Scott's cup is a measuring cup. Which I think is actually broken. <laughs> no, that's so you can pour. You, oh, really? Yes, it's a broken... <laughs> I don't know. I thought maybe there was a handle. Break a plastic cup. I don't know. Mm. I'm ready to get into this. It smells like complete ass. Mom, thank you. I love you. Well, are you trying to poison us? But, no. It's not our fault. Be cool, Pat. Be cool. They, they, it's not our fault that they don't actually... They're not... My mom even told me in... Uh, it was really hard to get beers overseas because no one drinks beer, really. They drink a lot of wine and they drink... So is this like a soda that's gone bad that they're trying to pass off as beer? I think, Pat... T tobacco stuck in a water can? There's a name for this show, and it's called The Beer's Gone Bad, and I think it's reserved for things like... Oh, look how much foam there is. Look at the head on this thing, dude. I'll read you the... Oh, <laughs> dude, this, thing... <laughs> this thing smells... Oh, I'm excited for it. I want to note <laughs> that one of the ingredients on the side, it says birra, malt, Beer. the third ingredient is CO2. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 4.1% alcohol. Um, that's about all I can understand on the back of this thing. <laughs> oh, wait, there we go. CO2 again. Hops. Wait, wait. Expire dates. See the closure production date. God, I hope this isn't bad. That'd be so funny. Where's the lid? Where's the top? <laughs> oh, here we go. Again, it's in Braille, so... Me, <laughs> Braille? <laughs> me not being blind, I don't understand that one. Uh, Through the Charger Cup, this looks like it's going to come in at about a 1.5 on the color scale. 1 out of 10. 1 Bud Light, 10 Rasputin. Pat's actually not lying. It's, uh, it's Braille. Could be Morse code. I don't understand. Oh, look at the seal feature on the underside of the cap, though. They're stepping it up a little bit in mm -hmm. Turkey. Ooh, so, I jump. <laughs> <laughs> smells like a homeless person. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god, that what? smells like an armpit. <laughs> it does, dude. Oh. Okay. It's got a really big, frothy kind of head on it. Like, it, it you know, I, I get it. I, I think yours is actually like half foam. It looks oh, like it's like a big macro beer kind of type, type, uh, type beer. If there's one thing I know about turkey, it's absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to carry that over to the beers. Do you know anything about turkey? What turkey facts? I will say this. Dude, this is the... That is no, disgusting. I'll say this. Smelling. It is November, and Thanksgiving's coming up, and if there's ever there's been an appropriate shots. time... Sounds like knocking. Either way, Karen. Maybe knocking with a gun. Um, if there's ever a time for a turkey beer, it's during turkey month. Mo. November. I guess it is true, though. It is November, so in in light of the turkey month, let's let's take a first sip. Smell this, first of all. Take a big whiff of fresh air. Now take a whiff of your homeless beer. <laughs> mm. 
Oh my god, dude, I uh, want a gag. <laughs> we had remember we had that one beer. By the way, it's worth <laughs> noting that it's got five out of a hundred. Oh my god, on rate beer, <laughs> this got a five out of one hundred. A freaking <laughs> five <laughs> out of one hundred. Oh, I'm sorry. I, can, I, can, I gotta hold it together. I don't think I can drink this, dude. Like, this, come on, it's a beer review show, Pat. How are you gonna review a beer? It smells like malt and socks and kind of a ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> this is absolutely disgusting. I can't drink this. The beer's gone, but you have to drink it. You have to take a sip. Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, it's actually not as bad as it smells. God, they they really need to work on that smell. That thing almost made me gag. Yeah, the smell is terrible. The smell is socks, balls, and and, and what else? Any a dumb malt or something malt. Um, it does smell a lot like uh, if you've ever brewed your own beer when you're actually cooking up. Um, whatever you cook up when you throw in, you throw in all your uh, <laughs> the what? <laughs> you throw in all like your yeast and. And you're cooking up what they call the wart. Uh, it has that very, very distinct smell. Like if you walk by a brewery, it has that smell. This beer has that smell. Kind of like wet cornflakes meets yeah. oatmeal meets. Like, but it's like you're putting those oats inside of a used sock and then boiling it. And then leaving it out in the street for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and then someone emptying it out and wearing the sock oh, and then dude, going back. Dude, that is like, <laughs> the smell is absolutely accurate. Like I can't even smell it. It's terrible. It but the, but the taste of the beer is not that bad. It actually really doesn't taste like much. The fact that it made it halfway across the you know world what? in a plastic bottle, a very... The beer is very light, it comes across really yellow and fizzy, like it's got like a really... It's a very macro beer, brew style. <laughs> Two is oh, nature, beer. this beer, on a 1 in 10 scale, I'm not even going to finish it. Oh come on, you gotta finish it with This is disgusting scale. dude. 0.5 out of 10. <laughs> I give it a 0.5 on this basis. Do we even have a clarity? Well, it's hard to do it through the plastic, but... Basically, it almost made me gag, and two, it almost made me gag. Yeah, it also made me throw it before I even drink it. Yeah, it's, uh... Ew. It's not one that would probably be known for its aroma. Oh, come on, don't pour it back in the bottle. Well, I'm gonna send this back to Turkey and say no thank you. That's fair enough. Save it for later. Does have a screw on cap. I'm out. Yeah, just screw the cap on. We'll save it for later. <laughs> Skull, you made an absolutely disgusting beer, and I'm never going to drink it again. Oh my god. Skull, I'm going to give you guys... Hold on. A six, because I think I'd buy it again if I was in the right zone. <laughs> if I was drunk enough, maybe. I'm going to give it a one. <laughs> god. That's Scott's first one. Yeah! Welcome to the club, sir. Hey, thank you. I've rated ones before, and you've never gone below in a three. I don't think I've gone below four. Oh. Scott just got broken into the club. Yeah, it's uh, it's rough, guys. It's rough. Um, if you found yourself wandering through a desert and happened to stumble upon a Turkish bar, and the only thing they served was skull, and you were like, "God, we really wanted to party tonight," but maybe, good luck. Maybe, maybe tonight's not the night. <laughs> Pass. Yeah, that's a flip Do yourself a favor and don't throw up on the bar. <clears throat> oh, God. That that may have been, aside from Sam Adams Roush beer, the worst beer I've ever had. A Roush beer is actually like a legitimate beer. This is, this is, it came. Yeah, it's came in a plastic, plastic bottle. bottle. I feel like they just filled this up from an Aunt Jemima <laughs> bottle. <laughs> and just put it on the shelves with some random fermented water. Just let it, let it heat in the sun to get the get the get the womanly figure. Yeah, look at it. it looks like an Aunt Jemima bottle, like a <laughs> syrup bottle. There we go. Throw our label on it. Ugh, God. Done. I'm done. I that almost made me throw up. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight truly the beer has gone bad. Uh, thank you for tuning in, Mom. Thank you for supplying the beer and a new dimension to my taste palette. <laughs> Seriously. Beer's gone bad, everybody. Um, so the beer's full of like wine. We'll see you next time, and until then, find something new. Craft beer's a movement. Yeah, get into it. Try it. Don't take our word for it. Find out for yourself. Good night. Peace.